Do you wonder how some stock experts know exactly which stocks to buy, when to buy them, and exactly what's going on in the market and kind of how they always notice? I'm going to give you guys an insight on exactly what I do to find out what's the next stock to buy, when it's going to possibly drop, so you can kind of not time the market, but get an idea of what the market can possibly do within the next few days, weeks, or months. And this video is brought to you by Moomoo. So that's what we're going to use today. Today we're going to get right into it. All I ask in return is for you to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and if you do that, I will show you a great picture of a pigeon. Everybody like a pigeon. Unless it just ate. Nobody like a pigeon that just ate because, you know, that could be bad. So if you already have the Moomoo Moo app, make sure you update it because I didn't see this feature until I updated it. So I recorded this, so we're just going to go over what I did. You're going to open up your Moomoo Moo app. And at the bottom left hand side, you see markets, you're going to click markets because that's all my watch list right there. And you see where it say earnings report, you're going to click earning report. And now you have a earnings calendar of every single company that's literally about to report the earnings. You see Best Buy right there. I'm going to probably click that. And you see right now their price is at seventy seven dollars. And if you look and the main thing I do is look at the 52 week high and the 52 week low It's at 138 versus $64, $77 is a great indication of it's closer to its low. And what I do is I put it on one month and change it to the old school. You know, I take it off the candlesticks. I put it on the old school where you can just see, you know, green and red and little lines. But I look back every month because you can go back and you can see you know you get more range when you actually do it that way then you scroll down you see exactly like the bid and price and the ass and price but i like to do is go up you click news and see what people what articles are talking about say best buy physical second quarter results and you can look right here you see it say the company on tuesday post adjusted earnings of one dollar and 54 cents per share down from two dollars and 98 cents a year earlier but better than the capital ip poll consensus so it didn't do good but it did better than what they expected so that's why you see the price is actually up in the green and people are, are actually happy about it so you like to look at the news and see what people are talking about then you can go to the analysis if you want to and analysis is going to show you exactly what the experts are thinking about but you see i have mine you can put it on a five day and if we pause it right here you see the share before trading today was at 74 dollars, and you see it jumped all the way up and we see it over 76 close to 77 at that point and that's good to basically see because you've seen that quick jump. So imagine if you invested before the earnings because like you can already start doing research and seeing if a company is already projecting to do good so you can kind of judge and you can, you know, buy in early. So on the analysis part, you see right here, it says two bullish signals, one bearish signal. Bear signal mean basically bad, bullish mean good. So red and green, you see it's kind of neutral in the middle. And you keep on going down company valuation, institution holdings, and it show who is holding this. You see Vanguard is holding it. They got 11% on BlackRock, JP Morgan, State Street Global um, Advisors, T. Rowe Price Group. So you get to see how much people, you know, actually get in this and analysis rating. They are saying this is a hold. They saying they look, we wouldn't buy it. We wouldn't sell it, but we will hold. But it's up to you. Now, me, I honestly will think of best buy close to a buy at this point by looking at the price alone so let's look at some more companies we have chewy because you see it said before market that mean before the market open they're going to give their earnings report and you're going to know all the stuff before or after the market closed once after 4 p.m the market closed then they can get things popping and show you and in between is in between so chewy is another good one that people talk about because people like chewy ceo and you see their 52 week high is at $80 and their 52 week low is at 22. We are at $37. So we're not in the middle, but there's opportunity for um, Chewy. Now, if you look at the, I got it on a five day, 
and Chewy been completely going down. So if their earnings end up being good, this would be a good opportunity to be able to buy in. And you see the price was over $10 not too long ago. So it's like, all right, Chewy, let's look more into it. We can look at the um, news. Say Noble's earnings after Tuesday close. Chewy's is maintained at equal weight by Barclays. And just really seeing which ones is good. Now, hold on. Look at their indicators. You see eight bullish signals. Eight bullish signals. They're saying this is a buy at this point. Buy you some Chewy. Now, I'm not a big Chewy person. Now you see Argo Holdings. That's probably the people who own like Chewy. Then you see Morton Stanley Investment. You see Bellies, Vanguard. So I don't know too many of these. Probably just a bunch of rich people. But you get 62% of people saying this is a buy right now. Let me know in the comments. Do you think Chewy is a buy? Have you ever bought any Chewy? I haven't personally bought any, but you know, I know about I know about Chewy. So what I did was added them to the calendar. I clicked this right here. So I added that so I won't forget because my mind, I'm doing so many videos and doing so much stuff. I will be all over the place. So you can add it to your calendar if you are interested in it. So if we look down, that looked like a wine company. Never heard of Brown Foreman. And we keep on going down. Let's see. Is any popular companies? You see five below. But I'm not going to do five below. We can do Hormo Foods. Hormo Foods is a big company. A lot of food options that most people don't know about. Since I said this, you're going to notice this at your grocery store all the time now. Um, $51 a share is in the red today. 52-week high is $54 and the low is $39. So just off of your mindset, if you see the 52-week high, is at $54 and we're at $51. Do you believe this is a good buy right now? In my opinion, I would be very, very skeptical. It is a red flag because it is close to, it's basically at its 52-week high. So I would have to be fully bullish on it's possibly about to keep on going up. Unless that, you better um, stay away from <laughs> something like that. But I'm not too hip to it. Now, if we look at the indicators down here, that's a lot of green. That's good. It's going up slowly. It's not going up fast. It's going up slowly. A lot of opportunity over there. It looks like you're not going to get rich overnight, but you actually can possibly make some money with it. It looks like that slow money, and it's a dividend paying company. You can look right here and see the dividends. So when you hold these shares, you're actually going to get paid with dividends. So if we look at the five-day, it's a little choppy. And we can see the buy, we can see the ask sale, <clears throat> the ask and sale price. But, you know, I like to go to the news analysis. You even can look at the comments. Comments is real people that's with Moomoo that's actually do articles or ask questions or do polls. You can really have a strong community. So you can start getting free Moomoo points and stuff to get merch and different type of things just by participating with different polls and asking your own questions. So that's a great thing. So in the news, you see Hormone Foods launch is 16th annual global, what did that say? impact report for over 130 years we've been at making a difference with our people in our communities and with our products says the ceo you guys can read that and see exactly what's popping over there so they've been moving they've been doing things let's see what the um, analysts say they say eight bearish signals don't buy so they have the mindset i have with it um we gotta wait this out and when you actually click one of these, you see the indicator details, you can click either one you want to, and you can learn exactly what is it about by clicking this in terms. There we go. So let's see what it say. OSC, the OSC is an analytical indicator derived from moving average, which reflects the difference between the current price and the average price over some time. You got the definition, you got how apply, you got all of that. Then back testing from last year. So you got a bunch of different options on understanding this. 
So overall, this is the calendar. Let me know what you like best in the comments about this calendar. And right now with my followers, Mumu is giving you up to 12 free stocks. This is the first time I believe they're giving you up to 12 free stocks. You're going to actually get six free stocks once you literally click that link that's pinned to the top of the comments or in my description and you actually do your first deposit of $100. I believe they're going to give you six and possibly three more. So it could be a total of nine. And when you deposit $2,000, you're going to get up to 12 free stocks. They change their promotions all the time. It could possibly be 10 free stocks, 12. But just know you want to sign up. You want to basically do your deposit. You want to basically take advantage. And you can find out different companies to basically invest in and companies that most people was not even hip to or know that they had a earning. So you can start building a strategy and a game plan. I'm Lando Success. I will talk to you guys later. Make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button. I'm out. I don't wanna lose you girl